بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سی ایس ایس ٹوینٹی سکسٹین کرنٹ افیئرز کوشچن نمبر تھری واٹ میئرز ووڈ یو سجیسٹ ٹو امپروو دا اکانمی آف پاکستان پارٹیکولرلی ان دا ایریاز آف ڈیٹ ریڈکشن اینڈ انہینسنگ ایکسپورٹ کیپیبلٹی ون آف دا موسٹ امپورٹنٹ ٹاپکس وچ کین بی گیون ان سی ایس ایس attempt improving the economy of Pakistan particularly in the areas of debt reduction and enhancing export capability the same question 2023 may be the exporter say or balance of payment K constraint K-Wallis is crucial for the long-term stability and prosperity of the country here are some measures suggestions that could be considered First one is fiscal policy reforms. The government can implement fiscally responsible policies aimed at reducing the debt burden and promoting economic growth. This could, inter- this could include reducing government spending, improving tax collection and promoting transparency and accountability in the government spending. Second one is encouraging foreign investment. The government can take steps to encourage foreign investment in the country by creating a more favorable business environment and improving the case of the doing business. It means ease of doing business. This could include reducing the red tape, improving the legal and regulatory framework and providing incentives to investors. <coughs> Third one is promoting exports the government can encourage and support the export sector through a variety of measures including providing financial support to exporters improving infrastructure and increasing access to market markets government can the government can also promote the development of key export industries such as textiles leather goods and agricultural products and as well as IT services by providing technical assistance and training to local producers. Fourth one is improving energy supply. One of the more and one of the core issues and hindrance between the <coughs> economic, economic development, the economic growth. Addressing the energy crisis is crucial for improving the economy as it has a direct impact on the competi- competitiveness of the local industry and the cost of doing business. The government can address the energy crisis by increasing the supply of electricity and natural gas and improving the efficiency of the energy sector. <coughs> Fifth one is improving education and training. Improving the education system and providing training and skills development opportunities to the workforce is critical for the for enhancing the competitive competitiveness of countries industries the government can invest in the education and training programs particularly in the areas of science technology engineering and mathematics you can say stem to build a more highly skilled and productive workforce these are some of the measures that could be considered to improve the economy of Pakistan, particularly in the areas of debt reduction and enhancing export capability. Implementing these measures will require a sustained commitment from the government as well as support from the private sector and civil society. Thank you for watching. Milte hain next topic mein. Allah Hafiz.